the reality of life on the road for a working band isn't always so glamorous. Long drives, lousy food, dirty hotels. So we felt it was time to give these bands a chance to relax, shake off the road, and enjoy a little bit of TLC. It's time to pamper the band. Tell us about like uh, some character that you've met on tour, somebody that you didn't know before, but now you know. Doug, Doug and Flanagan. All right. He's the best character. He's the number one. And There's also hippie Steve, whose name I've just changed to protect the guilty. He was like friends with a friend, and then like took us hiking, and he was completely naked when he was hiking, and there was Grateful Dead coming wow. out of the speakers in the back of his oh, backpack. Just his butt. And uh, then he came to a show of ours in San Francisco, and got naked at that. And, uh, and then the club kicked him out. Uh, during tour, there's a lot of waits, right? Long waits and stuff. So what's your what's the best pastime for Rubble Bucket? What do you guys do to, to egg, waste time? Egg ball. Egg ball, yeah. <laughs> it's basically a combination of dodgeball and volleyball, volleyball kind of. So you have to throw the ball in the air, you hit it back and forth three times with one hand, and then after that, it's fair game to peg at somebody. What are some uh, pre-show rituals that you guys do? Do you have any pre-show rituals that involve the whole band or anything? It's so funny you're asking me that right now, because this is a... Yeah, it's usually just this. <laughs> When you're home, what do you miss most about the tour? I definitely just like, I mean, tour, whether this is a good or bad thing, mm -hmm. often provides me this feeling of just like carefree, like, like being a fucking child, uh -huh. honestly. <laughs> so what's like one of the worst sleeping situations that you've ever ended up with? Um, well, for all of 09, we would, we would all sleep on sleeping mats and like on people's floors. Uh -huh. um, and uh, we did that after show in Crested Butte, in, like in uh, Colorado. And the house was crowded with people after the show. It was like a little like, mobile home thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, um, and somebody made a smoothie. I'm like, I want some smoothie. And it turns out, and I ate it, and it was like loaded with hallucinogenic mushrooms. And wow. therefore, <laughs> and then, and it was like 3 a.m. And there was t no sleep to be had after that. I was pretty upset nice. about that. So Steve from Alina's in Hadley, Mass made this rubble teeny. It's got lemon, lime, orange juice, vodka, prosecco, Saint Germain elderberry flower liquor. Oh, Saint Germain isn't Elderberry flower liquor. Right, yeah, okay. that's Saint And then uh, basil, crushed Wait, basil. You're telling me there's no grapefruit in this? There's no grapefruit. That's, I'm just, that's blowing my mind right now. Well, <laughs> I can we drink it? You can drink it, go ahead. Yeah. Cheers! Yeah. To summer. Cheers. Is it, is it all right? What's it like? Yeah, What's the, good. okay. Yeah. Who's the, the, like, the van DJ? Who's the person who yeah, plays Yeah, I think Ian is the van DJ. What, what kind of music do you play in the van? It's pretty all over the map. Dubstep, mostly, really? yeah. I do not play dubstep in the van. <laughs> you don't like dubstep? Mostly That's dubstep. not good. Is there a pump-up song? Record, no. there's, there's, there's a lot of scat, scat man. man. Oh, scat man. Well, well like, scat man is pretty much... No. I'm scat I don't think I've heard the first part. Well, there is a real music that exists. Here's the hook. So what about the uh, the thing with RK Fire, the the, oh, yeah. the heads? Oh, oh, yeah. None of us can see any of anything. Oh, oh, right. of the, yeah. Are they just complete black, or do they have some? Yeah. There's like some problem. random holes here and there, but you couldn't Into see anything. So <laughs> it's it all went to shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was just us, like. I don't